Harsh Madhusudan Gupta is now joining us, uh, investor, author, public interest director also at NSC Gift City. Harsh, are you joining us uh, from New Delhi today or is, are you back in Mumbai? Because you did attend a hectic ceremony of uh, the oath ceremony of our Prime Minister, the third one. How was it? Uh, uh, how was the experience? It, this was the second time I had gone for the oath taking ceremony and slightly larger audience this time. Um, and it was a very, very good event. Uh, something to look forward to. I was very honored to be there. The point, uh, the point we want to discuss today now is what market is uh, awaiting is one, the composition of the cabinet. We all know the composition, rather the portfolios allocated to them. And also what could, I mean, just look at the speed. I mean, my Prime Minister is back at office and he's already signed the first file, which is the Kisan Nidhi for rural uh, expenditure. Uh, what to watch out for? Be run up to the budget or even the first 100 days uh, and also uh, your view on the kind of portfolio which could be allocated. Where could, uh, you know, finance ministry go or whom, etc. Any thoughts? Um, I think it would be not very smart to speculate on the actual ministries. We'll get to know very soon. Um, as far as uh, you're absolutely right that the, it's symbolic and important enough that the Kisan Nidhi was the first thing, first file the Prime Minister signed. I was just reading an interesting news item which confirmed data which we already know knew that uh, for FI24 top line for listed companies in India, at least the top thousand odd ones was around 5% only. Remember nominal GDP growth was only 9, 9.5%. Uh, but bottom line was 20, 25%. And that's because the year before the margins were uh, depressed because of commodity prices being high, inflation being high. This year, the margins had a roaring comeback but the top line wa uh, slowed down significantly. Uh, um, and I think that maybe because obviously people are psychologically attuned to think in nominal terms. It's only economists who think in real or inflation adjusted terms. So I think that was part of the reason that a slowdown was felt or those numbers of 7 8%, which while perfectly accurate, uh, were not psychologically being seen as 7 8% in real terms, given the general uh, anchoring that people have. So, so there is, there was clearly some distress. It would be uh, wrong to say there was no distress, given obviously that the election results uh, in parts of Eastern and Central UP. We of course cannot overstate it either because then Madhya Pradesh, etc. have also done very well for BJP. It was only one of many factors. So I think uh, th th in this election, it seems uh, we'll know more in the budget that there will be a slightly more focus on uh, consumption uh, perhaps on investment side, the attempt would be that finally the baton can be passed to private sector capex on the incremental side, on the marginal side, uh, and not just through the government or public sector capex. So I, I think slight uh, retweaking of priorities um, given the political economy is inevitable. Now, what is the extent of it? We'll find out. Uh, Harsha, just a quick word on uh, what do you think could be the tilt of the first 100 days and also the budget? Do you think that uh, there would be adequate attention to that part of the missing, uh, you know, the, perhaps for whatever reason, requires help. Uh, can, is it okay to assume the street is definitely wanting to know more about? No, I, I think it's, I think it's a, as good a guess as any that, of course, there should be a bit more focus on uh, bottom-up consumption or rural consumption um, because there seems to be some distress. As I mentioned, that was not the only factor in the slightly lower than majority uh, that was resulted for NDA. NDA has still formed the government, uh, being the largest pre-poll alliance. So I think that there should be some more, uh, not exactly freebies of welfare, but something more attuned towards consumption. And we were already seeing that even in the financial markets, right? I, mean, I gave you the number of top line, the most obvious uh, data point to check directly is FMCG sales. FMCG sales have been in single digit in nominal terms. So I think uh, the, this Kisan Nidhi being the the first uh, file that the Prime Minister signs is a symbol perhaps of things to come. And, and you noted that at the beginning of the program. Hey, Harsh, thanks so much for making time and speaking with us. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.